With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, we are given with the question and the question says in the following circuit, the current through the resistor R equal to 2 ampere, 2 ohm is 1 I amperes, right? The value of I is what? So the current passing through this overall circuit is I, right? Which is what the current passing through this resistor is given, right? We have to find that. So if we want to find that, right, we have to find first of all the equivalent resistance, right? So the equivalent resistance we have to find, right? So first of all, we mark A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? So in circuit A, B, C, G, A, A, B, C, G, A. Right, the Wittstone condition that is 1 by 2 is equal to 2 by 4. Right, Wittstone condition is satisfied. Condition is satisfied. Right, so there won't be any current passing through this 8 ohm. Right, no current from 8 ohms. So therefore, we can write this 1 and 2 to be in series. So that becomes equal to 3 ohms. And similarly, this 2 ohm and 4 ohm would become 6 ohms. Right? So from here, what we can say is R dash to be equal to 3 and 6 would be in parallel between A and C. Right? So what we can say from here is that R dash would be equal to 3 into 6 by 3 plus 6, so that is 9. So that would be equal to 2 ohms. Right? I'll draw the circuit again. So this is our 2 ohms. This is our point A. Right? There is a, uh, what we can say is that there is a resistance, right, across this. So we can write this to so be 2 ohms. This is point C. This is point A. There is a 6 ohm resistance here. There is a 10 ohm resistance between these two points. There is a 12 ohm here. Right? And there is a 4 ohm here. And that is connected to 6.5 volt. This is a 2 ohms. Right? And this is F, this is E, this is D. So between A, C, D, E, F, A, right, in this circuit, A, C, D, E, F, A, Wittston condition is applied similarly. We can write similarly in, right, so 2 by 6 is equal to 4 by 12, right, that is 2 by 6 equal to 4 by 12. So therefore, this 2 would be in series, right, similarly, there won't be any current passing through this 10 ohm, so this would give us 6 ohm from here. And this two would give us 18 ohms, right? So R double dash from here, the equivalent between A and E, right? We can write that to be equal to 6 into 18 since they are in parallel by 6 plus 18, that is 24, right? So that would be 4, so 9 divided by 2, so that is 4.5 ohms. So finally, our circuit would become uh, like this. There would be a 2 ohm resistor here. There would be a potential 6.5 volt supply here. 2 ohm is here. Between A and E, there is a resistance of 4.5 ohm. Between E, right? So since they are in series, the R equivalent would be equal to 2 plus 4.5, that is 6.5 ohms. The voltage is 6.5 volt. So obviously according to Ohm's law, the current would be equal to V by R. So that is equal to 6.5 by 6.5. So that is 1 ampere. So our answer would be I to be equal to 1 ampere. This is our answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.